Well, they do look quite commanding. Hey, what's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the common writer Geats RCF Geats and Tycoon Command Form Set. So here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. There we have Geats, there we have Tycoon, Geats, Tycoon, we have Geats, Tycoon. On this side, we have Geats, on this side, we have Tycoon up top. We have the Revolve changing. On the back, we have our obligatory product shots, this, that, things, and stuff. On the bottom, we have warning. Don't, uh, warning. <laughs> warning. You may get knocked over. Warning. Don't eat anything in this box. That could be very bad for you. And we have Sad Pac-Man. That's basically it for the packaging. Then moving right along, here we have the command form set, and this is another one of those two-in-one figures that we're getting in this RCF line. And yeah, here is uh, the Geats form, of the command form. It looks pretty good, and let's get in close here so we can take a look, not at that chest, but at the noggin. There's the noggin. Let's see. Nicely done there for the helmet. You got the transclearant orange, you got the red in there, a little antenna that is rubber, so you don't have to worry about breaking it. Get some nice silver in there as well. Um, the suit itself, just done in gray plastic. Would have been nice if it was done in the silver, but oh well. It is what it is. It's the budget gimmick line. They got some orange in there. You have the Command Twin Rays buckles right there. You do get some silver going down the legs, which is nice, at least you get some kind of silver paint on it, and big old chunky legs, the foot slash hands, <laughs> and back here, we got these sections just kind of hanging out, like the thrusters, and of course you have a head just kind of hanging out back there, but you know, it kind of tucks away, and the wings, oh no, not too shabby. My one complaint, though, is that even though he's standing just fine now, because, of course, the camera's on, so now he wants to cooperate, but usually I have kind of a hard time getting him to stand up. He's kind of a little back-heavy. So sometimes he has a tendency to want to tip backwards, but no, there you go. See? There you go. Now you want to demonstrate. Eh, eh, eh. Mm, there you go. Now, as far as accessories go, you get the Raising Sword. And so you just cast all in... Gray, no paint on it whatsoever. Lots of detail, though. As always, all the detail that's supposed to be there is there. Just none of it is picked out in paint, unfortunately. But you can't hold it. Hey! You can't hold it in his hand. It's a little hard to get in his hand, though. There we go. So you got that going on. So you got slash, 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 slash. And all of that good stuff right there. And I realized I didn't do the articulation yet. We need to do the articulation now. Now, now. Now, now articulation-wise, head is on a ball joint, wiggly-waggly, a little bit up, a lot down. Arms can do a full 360, in and out. You get some forward and back also. Shoulder pad can move because it needs to move. You got bicep rotation. You have 90 degrees of bend there at the elbow. The hand slash feet is on a ball joint, so it rotates, can move downward if you need it to. Um, you do have... Waist rotation, legs can go forward that far, can go back only about that far, outward that far. You get thigh rotation, knee bend, you can get, <laughs> you also get like a mid shin bend because that's supposed to also be an arm. So yeah, no, you get extra joints that maybe you need, maybe you don't. You have rotation there as well. You have an extra joint right there. And the feet slash hands are again on a ball joint, wiggly waggly, tilted rotation, and all of that good stuff. Um, the wings are also on a ball joint, so you can kind of move these around or on a hinge. You can move them up and down, in and out, do what you want there. These bits also are on a ball joint and hinge. You can kind of adjust those, do what you want there, but they're supposed to be like that. And there you go. And, of course, we can do the Revolve Change. That's the whole point of this line, the whole gimmick. So, to do that, uh, we can remove the helmet piece here. You can see that gold underneath. You don't have to remove this if you don't want to, but it just makes things, you know, tuck in back there a lot better. So, you just want to take all this, bring that back. Just kind of bring that head up again, just to get things out of the way. 
and uh, you're just going to start revolving. You're going to revolve and change as revolving and changing implies. So you're just going to split this chest section here and straighten out what will now be the legs. Straighten all this out. You want to rotate this section, bring the hand up to now make a foot. Rotate, bring that up to now make the foot. And now to make the new upper body, you're just going to bring, rotate the thighs in. Say so meet in the middle, bring that down, bring those shoulder pads up, and again just orient all those hinges there. So you now have elbows and shoulder pads and all of that good stuff. Let's get that all lined up. Then we just take this, bring it up. It should tab into place if you can find said tabs and said slots and pieces will fall off. That's not part of the transformation. It's really not. Really not. Tuck this head back. You go back to your home. You stay because it's normal. Those will sit over his head. These will tuck in right under the booty. Make some booty flaps. One thing to note also is these sections, like the gray plastic does have that nice little sparkly, nice sparkly flex in them. Well, you know, it does give it that a little bit of sheen, but would have liked some silver regardless. But we got that going on, and then we bring in the Tycoon helmet. You can see that there, looking quite nice. And just secure that into place. And there we have Tycoon in his command form. And I do dig this form, you know, it's just kind of this beefed up, like, spacesuit looking deal, and I do quite like it. Of course, we can give him the Raising Sword as well. Like so. Yeah, make sure he stays together. Make sure he stands. But there you go. There you have Tycoon fully kitted out there. And for comparison, uh, here we have the regular Tycoon and... Geats, you stand. You stand, please. Thank you. So you can see how that... Hey! That was my own fault. That was my fault. I just... You know what? You know what? Be a little bit more cooperative. Come on. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. But there we have the regular Tycoon and Geats. Just so you can see how that works out. So there you go. Now, of course, if you want, you can totally just split all this and rip them in half and you can mix and match with any of your other forms that's one of the great fun playable things about this line is you can totally mix and match and do all kinds of combinations any kind of combos you want um you can also do the you seriously dude seriously work with me please work with me so many joints and a lot of them are not super snug you stay work with me thank you appreciate you now you can do the entry level of this form, but you need two of the blank torsos to do that. And I don't have two blank torsos, so I'm just going to show you the picture here. <laughs> you can have that look going on if you want. Things you can do if you want to do it. I can't do it because I don't have the parts necessary to do it. But hey, play features, show accuracy. I'm here for it. So <laughs> there you go. So there you have the command form set, and it's pretty cool. Um, one thing that does suck is that if you do want to display them both in the full suit, you would have to buy two of these sets, you know, but, you know, it, it's still a cool, like, two-in-one. My main complaint is that the uh, the joints on these are kind of on the loose side. I could fix that up, but right out of the box, the joints are kind of loose, so it's hard to kind of stand them up or pose them. But I do like the revolve change gimmick. I like the mix and match features um, that adds so much playability, so that I'm definitely a fan of. So all in all, it's a decent set. So there you go. Now I picked this up from CS Toys, but of course there are many other sites you can go to for stuff like this if you're interested, such as Hobby Link Japan, Ami Ami, Hobby Search, Mandarake. Of course, as always, eBay and Amazon. You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for Geats items. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out the Geats playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Love, Peace, Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the common writer Geats, RCF, Geats and Tycoon command form set. And this is Emgo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. 
Be geek. Be proud. Bomb in your face. <gasps> you got that buckle too? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Oh, it's so cool, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, pretty cool. Looks better on me, though. Oh, you just have to one-up me all the time, don't you? That's what I do that defines me. That is not your line!